Hi friends, I'm Rick Walker. Welcome to another episode of the SST Car Show. And now, what you've all been waiting for, our first look, a deep dive into the all new 2024 Ford Mustang. No hybrid, no electric. With this, you get either the EcoBoost turbocharged four or a V8. That five liter V8 is something Mustang enthusiasts lust after, and that's what you'll find in the Mustang GT. For most, it's even more exciting with that six speed manual transmission available with that five liter V8. Unfortunately, the manual transmission is not available with the EcoBoost Turbo 4. With that, you only have the 10-speed automatic with paddle shifters. Whether you choose the GT or the Dark Horse or the Turbo 4 or the 5-liter V8, you can't go wrong because this is one gorgeous car. Every body panel has been changed on the new Mustang. Up front, you get a bigger grill, bigger air intakes. A variety of wheel options are available in 17, 18, 19, and even 20 inch. Choose the performance package, you'll get 20 inch wheels with staggered fitment front and rear with Pirelli P0 tires. With the new Mustang, you get an updated chassis and a new steering rack. Overall, the design is more modern, but it still says Mustang. Now, I must say, I really do wish there was a manual transmission available with that 2.3 liter turbocharged engine. For me, that's what has made previous versions of the Mustang with that engine really fun to drive. But alas, I guess we'll just have to settle for the 5 liter V8. The GT will be the most powerful ever with over 470 horsepower. And of course you can choose with the five liter, either that 10 speed automatic or the six speed manual. Inside you'll notice that the double hump on the dashboard is gone because you now get this very wide prominent infotainment gauge display. You can choose from a variety of layouts. One of the most unique features on the new Mustang is the e-brake. It is electric, but with the performance pack, you get an e-brake that's actually set up for drifting. In the rear end, you get a limited slip differential, and you get line lock and launch control. With the dark horse, you can choose from either S or R designations. Pick the track ready version, and you have a car you can drive to the track, race at the track, and then drive home on the street. And with the dark horse, you get even larger air intakes than you do on the GT. Plus, with the track ready version, you get Pirelli Trofeo R tires. They're serious track tires. And if you're going to be taking it to the track and you have that track ready dark horse version, with that five liter engine, you get forged connecting rods and pistons and an upgraded camshaft. The rear wing is designed to provide even more downforce. So what you get with the new Mustang is a redesigned car. It still looks very much like the previous Mustang, but a lot has changed. And a lot of those changes are more than just skin deep. It's an exciting new car that has roots from the past, but looks ahead to the future, not with electric yet, but with very powerful, very exciting V8 and turbo four gasoline powered engine options. Rick Walker, SST Car Show News.